this is what is waiting for me, is part of my motivation. So failure is not an option. And once you go, there's no turning back. And we were going. Pretty crazy out there. Almost made it, but we're still not there yet. Trying to cross the infamous canal, the South Scent. My goodness, this is something else, man. That was my track. I ended up tanking five times, which is less than I thought. The last tack was hard, not technically difficult, just hard on the morale. I thought we would be able to clear the mountain and enter the calm of the bay, but no, we had to go back out into the canal again. Finally, we edged past these menacing rocks. I was on edge there, but we got in. The wave settled and now I had to tack up this bay. There are several oil tanker buoys, only one has a light, and I almost hit one. But me and Galapan dodged and tacked our way around to drop anchor just behind my friend Irwin. Oh, good morning, Mandelo. I made it here after quite a challenging uh, sail yesterday, especially going up the South Vicente Canal. Anyways, I came in here into the bay. I had to tag a bunch of times to get here all under the power sail. My friend uh, Erwin just up the way there sent me a message uh, saying, wow, congratulations, you did it. You just came in here under sail, dropped anchor, and I'm secure. So that's one accomplishment for my sailing resume, drop anchor under sail. I'm sure a lot of your experienced guys have done that many times. The other one is sailing up the South Chante Canal. That is one proud stripe on my uniform as a sailing captain. That was so intense. And now here I am, back in my lovely Mindelo, my home, away from home. The boat's a bit of a, bit of a mess. My uh, idea using Vaseline on the V-Birth porthole didn't do so well. I wanted to go sleep last night, unfortunately somebody went pee-pee there. And luckily I have another cabin here, and I just jumped in that one. But otherwise the boat's a little bit of a mess. There's some water that comes in somewhere into the bilges. I don't know if it's the toilet, I don't know if it's from the uh, vents here. That water came down because the towel's all wet. I've got to figure that out. Anyways, I've got some cleaning up to do, some laundry to do, and seeing my friends, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing my friend Wendy. That's it. This is my anchorage. This is where I live now. It's nice. My bed was soaked, and below are these lockers where I've stashed emergency water I got in the Canaries. There was water stagnating here for I don't know how long. Later that day, I had visitors. It was Wendy and her friend Bruna, as well as Wendy's son Claydear. They all had Miss Gallopin. The water is fresh and the wind is chilling, but the rays of the sun and the beats of the music quickly warm things up. away, Wendy messaged me. She said she was sad. Because of family issues, she went on. She had to find a place to live. Well, I thought I could help. So I called my friend Pesh, who may have an extra room. As it were, he had a place. Pesh had recently built this as an extension to his house, in Man Cave. Well, it was available. It's very modest. Just one room and a bathroom. No kitchen, just a camping gas stove. And water has to be carried in with jerry cans. But it was Wendy's humble home for now. Paige needed some extra cash to pay for his commercial Siemens license fees, etc. 
as he is soon to set off on a commercial ship for several months. So, we worked out a friendly arrangement for everyone. Here, he's aboard Galapas, studying for one of his online safety training courses. Now about Galapas' problem. Peter and Jilson had come to the same conclusion. It must be the gearbox. But I wanted a third opinion, so I reached out to ace mechanic Danny and Pryor. He said he would send his brother out. This is Alex. He came to take out the gearbox and take it back to his shop. Later I got a message from brother Danny that he'll be coming to Mindelo and he'll look at the gearbox. Yeah, this is uh, Alex, Danny's brother. He's also an Alex and he took out the uh, gearbox. He's gonna go try to fix it, man. He sent me these pictures. It was what Peter, Jilson, and Danny had suspected. Worn out discs in the clutch system. I asked if he could fix it. And how will he get the spare parts? Well, I just had to wait. <laughs> Meanwhile, one of my Euro sailing friends was about to sail back to Europe. This is Erwin from Austria. He's been stuck here as long as I have. Normally, he would have been chartering his boat around the islands loaded with tourists. But today, he's giving a basic sailing course to a young crew he's gone together to sail all the way back to Croatia. There's a couple of Germans and an Austrian, I believe. Me and Erwin have become friends, even though the Swiss and Austrians are normally mortal enemies. We have a rivalry in ski racing. Anyways, he says he's coming back. Well, until then. So I'm having a hamburger with my friend Erwin here. And, uh... He's the arch enemy because he's Austrian and yeah. we have like a big uh, competition between Austrian skiers and Swiss skiers. So, but Erwin's going. He just suggested we come here for a, a hamburger at this Nautilus place. We don't usually come here because there's too many tourists and, and white people. But this burger was really good, so thank you, Erwin. I like my Euro friends, but I must admit I prefer to hang out with my local friends. Wendy and her friends invited me to hang out with them. Everything is closed, technically, but for some clandestine spots only locals know of. And the streets aren't. She asked me to bring my boombox, and her and her friends, Andrea and Aleda, took to the streets. Next morning, I get an early call. It's Danny. He's done with the gearbox, and I've got a hangover. What Danny has achieved is truly remarkable. He was here for a yeah. week to see his mom, who was in the hospital and nothing serious, thank God, and managed to do this job. As well, they changed the fuel filters and tuned up Simone and the old Perkins. He charged me a friendly price. I now owe him a few drinks, too. You see, immersing yourself in a culture, learning the language, making friends and helping others makes for a better sailing experience all around. All my foreign friends could not believe I got this problem fixed so quickly and so well done. Hey, this is Danny. This is Alex. They're brothers. And they fixed my engine. Oh, they fixed my uh, gearbox really well. And next time I'm in Praia, yeah, I'm going to go see uh, Danny. Oh, that was Danny. He did an amazing job. Love that guy great friends and I wish I could spend more time with him but he had to go back to Praia but uh, now I just let the boat air out because he changed the fuel filters and stuff so there was a little bit of diesel uh, fumes and stuff and uh, I had to look for a fuel filter in this compartment here and then uh, it was all wet with water I mean I think it was the last time when I was healing bad water got in through this porthole and got into this stuff and look it just wrecked Bunch of stuff, man. Salt is just lethal. Look at that, man. So I gotta clean this up and then clean up the whole boat. And uh, maybe I'll move anchor. Maybe I'll uh, go to the marina for a few days. But I'm really psyched now that my engine's working. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Gracias a Deus. Obrigado. Well, it was time for Owen to go. Crew is ready, and so is he. They'll be sailing all the way back to Croatia. It's a long trip back upwind. 
and across the entire Mediterranean Sea. But first, Erwin has to cast off, and there's a hitch. Start. It happens to the best of us. He doesn't have valve either. Oh, he's and Erwin is one of the best. He comes in and out of marinas and docks all the time. That is before the slow, pandemic. Erwin, slow, now Erwin. Erwin is out of practice and this happens. No worries, nothing major happened and they're off. And it brings me to think about when I'll be setting off. Well, soon, I hope. But I don't want to go back to Europe. And I certainly don't want to go to the Caribbean, not now at least. I want to go to West Africa. But are those countries open? It was great to have you along in this voyage. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you feel any value in this series. Me and Gallopin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.